Hello and thank you for watching this uh, short video on the uh, news from Autodesk about transport layer security. Uh, so Autodesk is making a change to drop support for 1.0 and 1.0 for vulnerability issues. So there are some security holes in there and they are just um, getting around to disabling that. A lot of you should have received the emails uh, a month or two ago from Autodesk directly. I know people were skeptical about them and uh, was nervous about the return address. It didn't have autodesk.com in it, right? So um, we have received emails about that and we talked to customers. Yes, that is uh, a valid email. And, um, and people just wanted to know what it was about. And this morning, we sent out a reminder just to let everybody know, hey, tomorrow on August 3rd, you know, um, Autodesk will be shutting these services down, or these uh, TLS versions of 1.1 and uh, 1.0. They'll be stopping the uh, support on those. So if you're using certain products, you want to make sure you get those updated before you um, before that day comes, right? Um, so it sounds a little bit sound a little scary when you think about it, because if we're saying updated before August 3rd, that means you know, you won't be able to use your products without uninstalling or, or doing some kind of um, major uh, repair to the software, and that's not the case. So let's say you didn't update the software before August 3rd or even a few days after. Only thing you have to do when you come in is just to uh, download the update, install it, and then you're back in business. And that's only about a few megs um, that you'll have to download depending on what products you use, and uh, we're going to get get to that in a minute here. So this is on our, our blog site for Synergist, and uh, this is an email that we just put out there um, this morning, and we already seen a lot of feedback from this. But on the Autodesk webpage, so inside of our, our page here, there's a link that will take you to the uh, knowledge article, and that article will be this one here, Update Required to Maintaining Your Software Access. Okay, um, only thing we have to do is make sure if you guys are using earlier versions, such as 14, 15, and 16, you know, um, you click the links and just read what it's telling you. And most of the time, it's just one little installer. So we're going to go ahead and look at 3ds Max 2016, okay? And I'm going to scroll down here, and it's going to have the update that we need. And that's, that's the only file that we need to download run the installer, and uh, boom, we're, we're good to go after that. But <clears throat> this is mostly for earlier versions, like I said, for 2014, 15, 16, and in some cases, 17. But when it comes to Revit, a uh, BIM 360 design, a collaboration for Revit, those will require it from 2015 to today. Whatever version we had, 2020, all the way back to 2015, you will have to do some update. Okay, and you could click on either one of these links. It doesn't matter what version you click on; it's all going to be the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the 2020 version, and then this document is going to give me more information about why I need this update, and it's going to give me uh, each version and what update is is required. So for 2020 version, we need the Revit 2020.0.1 fix, and that will include the security fix for uh, the personal accelerator and also um, the Windows 10.NET 4.7 fix. Okay, now that's for subscription customers, same thing for maintenance customers. If there's a difference, they will share that. Um, it's not much of a difference between the two. Now, if you're not using, so if you have Revit but you're not using collaboration for Revit or BIM 360 design, you do not have to worry about installing these updates. Okay, um, in this article, it should have, uh, so this one is telling us for Revit 2014 and 16 single user subscriptions, you must apply these updates, right? Because now we're making a solid connection to the Autodesk servers for validating our access to the software. So of course, we would need to make sure we have the updates for those versions. 2019, you have to update the uh, to the latest security fix to continue using Revit Cloud Work Sharing. Okay. Um, now, if you're not using any cloud services, if you're not a single user license where you have to get access on the Autodesk account site and uh, sign in with your username and password, if you don't have to do that, 
you're good. If you don't have to uh, connect to BIM 360 Design or Collaboration for Revit, whichever one you're working with there, you're fine. Okay. Um, so if all you use is Revit and you're in a network license, that's a, that's, you don't have to worry about doing any of these updates. It's only when you're a single user connecting to Autodesk servers to authenticate and also if you are using BIM 360 Design or Collaboration for Revit. It's the only time you really have to install these updates. Personally, I recommend that you go through and install them anyway because there's a lot of other servers that Autodesk own that may also not have TLS 1.0 and 1.1 uh, available for use. Right, So I would still go through with these installs to make sure that um, my system is, is OK, okay? and um, there, there won't be any problems later on. No, that's me. But again, if you come in the next day and your software is not working, or you can't authenticate with the cloud servers for a license, or you can't connect to a BIM 360 site to start working on your central models, you know that's when you want to go up to this page, download and install these updates, and then you're you're good to go. You don't have to uninstall Revit. You don't have to do a clean uninstall or reformat your drive. You don't have to do any of that. It's just uh, a simple updating. Um, of these patches that, that we're giving you here that we're showing on this list. Okay. AutoCAD. Again, if you're if everything is internal, right? If you're doing a network license, you don't have to worry about installing any of these updates. And they don't even have anything for 18, 19, and 20. It's only for the the three versions here, 14 to 16. Um so if you guys have any questions with that or anyone have any questions with that uh, feel free to reach out to us at support at synergist.com and we can um, we can get in touch with you and share more information and hopefully uh, you know get everything situated for you. All right. Well, thank you for watching and um, have a great day. Talk to you later.